Kentucky has gotten off to a 2-0 start thanks to wins over Southern Miss and Eastern Kentucky. Now they jump into Southeastern Conference play with a 7:30 road trip to South Carolina on Saturday. The Wildcats have beaten the Gamecocks in three straight games, including two years ago in a 26-22 road game. UK has had big expectations following the season a year ago that ended with a bowl game. In order to make that happen, the Cats must take care of business at South Carolina. It's conference play, right? It all counts, but it's more important now. So uh, if we're going to compete for the SEC Eastern Division, we have to beat South Carolina, and that's just what it comes down to. Uh, they're, they're a good football team. They've got a good coaching staff. Uh, that place is going to be loud. I've been there before. It's going to be very exciting, and uh, the guys got to show up. I watched the game on TV when I first got here the first year, and, uh, you know, it was, a, it was an energetic atmosphere. You know, those guys are going to bring everything they got, and uh, they're not going to take a, take a back seat. So, you know, we can't, we can't do the same thing. South Carolina also comes into this game with a 2-0 mark, the first time since the 2012 season. That includes a 31-13 win last week at Missouri after falling behind 10-zip. But again, they've lost three in a row to Kentucky. We'll certainly be focused on Kentucky this week and understand what's at stake. It's the SEC East. It's the home opener. Uh, so there's a lot of things. I think this, you know, last year this is a football team that we, we could not stop the run last year. They bled us out in the fourth quarter. And we didn't run the ball effectively at all. So, uh, you know, good challenge for our guys this week. And don't forget to make your vote count toward our LEX 18 High School Sports Zone Game of the Week. Go to the Facebook page, select one of these three games you see here for Friday night. Frankfurt Western Hills is the current leader. A well, former UK basketball All-American, Billy Ray Lickard, has passed away. He was the 12th player to score over 1,000 points in his career while playing for Adolph Rupp. Lickard is a Lexington native who also led Lafayette to the 1957 Sweet 16 championship. The UK basketball team released the times and networks for many of their games this season. The SEC released its entire schedule with those times and television networks. There are only six more games still to be determined. If you'd like to see the most most up-to-date schedule, go to our sports page at lex18.com to check it out. Former UK guard Isaiah Briscoe has agreed to a training camp deal with the Portland Trailblazers. Briscoe went undrafted and will get the chance to make the roster by competing against another former Wildcat, Archie Goodwin, who signed a similar deal in Portland. Tate's Creek played Simon Kenton in the Lexington Catholic Lady Knights Challenge Cup. It came down to penalty kicks on Simon Kenton's second one. Creek's Jenna Shalash made the save there. And the Commodores' Lily Klusner sealed the win with this one off the goalie's hands. Tate's Creek wins it 3-2. The third day of the September yearling sales at Keeneland saw three Colts sold for seven figures each. The major buyers were there as Coolmore led the way buying a Scat Daddy Colt for $1.1 million. The others went for an even million. That increases the number of seven-figure horses sold at the sales to 11. And the Reds lost last night 13-4. Tonight they used a five-run fifth inning, which included a Eugenio Suarez three-run homer to beat St. Louis 6-0. to zip. And this is just amazing. The Cleveland Indians got a three-run homer from former Red Jay Bruce against the Tigers to help them win their 21st game in a row, something no other American League team has ever done. They're five away from tying the Major League record set by the New York Giants in 1916. They host the Royals starting tomorrow. LEX 18 News. We'll be right back.